Hi everyone, I'm Ellen and welcome to my kitchen. Today's recipe is a childhood favorite of mine. My mom would make it when I was a little girl and basically it was ground beef and cream of mushroom soup. And you mix it together and uh, we ate it with rice. So that's what I'm going to make. Um, very, very simple. Just take a pound of ground beef or however, however, uh, much ground beef you would like to use to feed your family. Um, just take it out right here. I'm just gonna throw it into a bowl, whoops. Throw it into a bowl right here because I'm just gonna add some very simple um, seasonings together to kind of give it a little flavor. Hold on. I have a 12 inch skillet on the stove top right now getting that nice and warm. So I have um, some onion powder. I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of onion powder. Take some garlic powder. And you can use garlic salt, garlic powder, whatever it is that you have. Do a tablespoon of that. Sprinkle some pepper. And then, some salt. And that is it. I'm gonna get in here. And you can throw an egg in here if you want. Um, Normally, if I make burgers, I'll throw an egg in there to bind it all together. But um, I'm not going to... Burger keeps jumping out. I don't know what is, what's up with that. Um, I'm just giving it a good mix here. And then I'm going to make miniature patties. Okay. Using my flexible cutting mat, I'm just going to set the patties right on here. Make as many as I can. And you can pre-make this before um, dinner time, of course, and put it in the fridge until you're ready. Have those patties ready and shaped. That way all you gotta do is the actual um, putting in the skillet and cooking it up. This is a very cooked recipe, a cooked recipe, it's a really fast recipe uh, to make. And it's kind of like comfort food too. So if the weather is really cold outside, it's perfect. Okay. Okay, how about I take some from here? Some here, take a little from these. Now I'm gonna make one more so that I can make 12. All right, wash my hands here. Okay. All right, one last thing I wanna do before I put the, well actually I can, let me put the burgers on. Get my bowl washed because I'm gonna reuse this bowl. over to the stove and quickly put this in the skillet so I'll be right back. All right I have all 12 little patties in the 12 inch skillet and they fit perfectly in there. Um, while it's cooking up I'm just going to leave it in there for just a couple minutes on each side. In the meantime I'm going to open a large can of cream of mushroom soup. And what I like to do is I take it and add a little bit of milk, whisk it together so it's not as condensed. Okay. All right, get some milk here. 
It's kind of almost like you're preparing cream of mushroom soup. All right. I'm going to whisk this together. I'm going to turn my burgers over. All right. The mini burger patties have been flipped over. And they're looking really, really good. In fact, if you weren't making this recipe, you could just make sliders, little sliders, build it up with lettuce, tomato, and onion, put some cheese on it, and you're good to go. All right. So here is the cream of mushroom mixture that I'm going to pour into the skillet along with the, um, the cooked mini burgers. And then I turn the heat down, because right now it's at medium high. And I just have it cooking about two minutes on each side. Then I'm gonna put this in, and then turn the heat down, and just kind of let, let it simmer um, all the way to the end, okay? All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper here. And that's it. This is exactly how my mom used to make it. Um, to the sauce, to this mixture, you can add a little bit of soy sauce um, for more flavor on that. But I just kind of leave that out and I leave it up to you. So when you plate it, if you want a little soy sauce in it, then you can add it. I don't want to make it too salty. And that's it, guys. So I'm going to take it over to my skillet. But let me bring the skillet over just so that you can see. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You see all the little mini patties in there? I'm just gonna take the, um, I'm just gonna take the cream of mushroom, mix, and then dump it in. Now at this point is where if you want to go ahead and drain the oil out, you definitely can. There's really not a whole bunch in there. Um, I didn't add any oil. Yeah, I didn't add any oil to the pan. I just put the burgers in because the burgers weren't the leanest. Um, so it had already oil. I mean, it wasn't, um, yeah, it wasn't the leanest ground beef. So you are already going to have the natural oils and fat in there. Okay, so I'm going to take this, pour it in. Don't forget to turn your heat down. And that is it. So when I come back, you'll see the finished product. Welcome back. We are about to finish up the ground beef with cream of mushroom. Um, I am going to pull it off the stove. Turn off the heat, take it off, remove the handle, open it up. Look at this. Oh my goodness. It was simmering on the stove for probably about 10 minutes. Um, but here I have the finished ground beef patties in a cream of mushroom sauce. And um, nothing to it. Basically, I just made some mini burgers and a cream of mushroom soup and I diluted it with some milk um, and that was it guys. So I'm going to plate it right here. All right. There you have it, cream of mushroom with ground beef patties on a bed of rice and some of the gravy on top. So this is what's for dinner. I hope you guys have a wonderful dinner and hope you get to try this recipe out. Um, until next time, guys, have a good one. Bye-bye.